Welcome to Two Rivers Park. I'm Tommy Lynch, the Director of Parks and Recreation. I'm really glad to be here today as part of opening the dog park and as far as the mayor's Walk 100, Walk with the Mayor. Uh, before we get started on, on the other parts of the festivities today, I think there's, a, from my standpoint, there's a few people I need to thank for getting this dog park presentable, ready for everyone to use it. Uh, the contractors on the on the park is mutual contractors and Janet Shans is here today from the contractors I'd like to thank Janet It was designed by Collier engineering by Michael Pavin I, I don't see anyone from Collier engineering here, but I sure want to thank them for their part of it With us today are two of our park board members. Mr. Stan Fossick the vice chair and George Anderson, the chairman of the park board. I want to thank both of them as well. And I want to identify our staff that worked on this project. Mr. Tim Netch, our assistant director in, in charge of planning and facility development, as well as Chris Coster, who also who worked on this very project. As always, there's a couple other announcements that go along with something like this. I uh, want to acknowledge the folks who represent the owners of the pit bulls because whether you'd realize it or not, when we first started a, our dog parks and we opened with a, we have a dog management team, the recommendation by the people who were the experts, including Metro Animal Control and the Humane Association, was to ban specific breeds from accessing dog parks. With that being said, we've looked at the national trend and our dog management team has met recently and we're gonna move away from the breed specific banning. And at our next park board meeting, we're making a recommendation to the park board to put the responsibility where it needs to be on the owners of every dog that enters the dog park. It, this is another line of, of facilities that have been developed courtesy of the administration and this is like the fourth place that we've opened recently we last week we were at the Harpeth River on the dedication of the Harpeth River Greenway we in the past week we also opened a fitness center at Centennial Sportsplex we've opened another dog park at Pitts Park within the last month and next Saturday we're going to reopen the community center, which is a brand new community center at Severe Park. So, so that just goes along with what the administration has been pushing to everyone, that we have a lot of places all across the county where family and family, including their pets, can go out and exercise. So we're making it awfully convenient for people to get out and walk and to get the exercise needed and hopefully Many people, much like yourself, who are here today will take advantage of that opportunity. With that, I would like to bring Councilman Phil Claiborne up to the podium to thank you and welcome you for being here. Thank you, Tommy. And uh, I just wanted to welcome all of you to uh, Donaldson, to District 15, and to thank the park uh, staff, uh, the parks board. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> they agree. <laughs> Wait, can we all say, who let the dogs out? <laughs> I want to thank the mayor and the administration for, uh, for helping us to, uh, to make this park possible. This would be the largest dog park to date in, uh, in the county. And so we have a great facility. It just makes Two Rivers Park uh, a greater park for people to come to. Makes Hip Donaldson a lot more hipper. Uh, I want to thank uh, Hip Donaldson for being here and giving support with water this morning to Pet Supermarket back in the big yellow tent back there for coming out and providing some, uh, some giveaways for your, uh, your pets to play with later. And uh, so I just wanted to welcome all of you and uh, appreciate your being here to help us celebrate this opening of this, uh, this park this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. As always, I have left someone off who needed to be acknowledged. We're going to be walking on the Stones River Greenway. We're going to go to the pedestrian bridge, but Mr. Mark Deutschman, who's the chairman of Greenways for Nashville, is here as well today. 
and they have a tent over here, and you can register and sign up to support Greenways for Nashville. With, with no further ado, I'd like to introduce the person who's made all of this responsible, our mayor, Carl Dean. Well, thank you, Tommy, and thank you, Phil. Phil uh, has, has done a great job in the council, and um, he is a true advocate for his district, um, a true advocate for his district, and that's the right thing. I also want to acknowledge State Representative Darren Jernigan. Darren's a great fellow, a great state representative. Uh, a former council member, and I'm sure he misses it, and he's invited back any time. I want to recognize Carol Atherington, who's here from the Board of Health. We have members here from the Healthy Nashville Council, and I want to thank them uh, for their service, too. As Tommy said, uh, we've had a busy few weeks when it comes to park facility openings. Uh, groundbreakings and ribbon cuttings are some of my favorite things to do as mayor because it shows that uh, the city is moving forward, and I'm very pleased when we can offer something that increases the quality of life in our city. Dog ownership actually inspires people to be more active. Uh, studies have shown that when you have a dog at home, you're more likely to get regular exercise. So I'm glad that we were able to offer this to the residents in the Donaldson area. If you're already a dog owner, I hope you get a lot of use out of this new seven acre park. It's now the largest dog park in our city. And if you don't currently have a dog, I would encourage you to visit the uh, Metro Animal Care uh, Center and see what you can find there. There are some great animals there, and it's a great service, I think, to the city and to, uh, and to animals if you go to the, the Animal Control Center. Um, I have three dogs at home. Um, my wife couldn't make it today, so the dogs are at home. Uh, we have uh, two we got on our own and one we got from, uh, from Metro Animal Control and uh, Manny. He's an interesting dog, but he's, he's a very good dog. Uh, this new dog park includes a large plaza with shade and a paved walking trail. When you go inside, you'll notice that large boulders have been placed throughout the park to provide natural set seating areas and about 40 trees have been planted to provide shade as they grow. The project also includes a new parking area that we've made good use of here today. Parks did a great job of completing this park um, in a short six months, so I want to thank Tommy and his entire team for their hard work, as well as the construction team. Today we're going to cut the ribbon on this dog park, and then we'll take a, a walk along the Stones River Greenway as part of the Walk 100 Miles program, which is going on through now um, into uh, even hotter days in August. The challenge to all Nashvillians is to walk and then log your miles online at walk100miles.com. Everyone who gets to 100 miles by the end of August will get a free t-shirt that proudly boasts, I walked 100 miles with Nashville. Walking is a fun and easy way to get exercise. It's something everyone can do no matter what their fitness level. It's recommended that all of us get at least 150 minutes of moderate, intense physical activity a week, and brisk walking is a great way to do that. And to be clear, uh, being healthy and active is not about how we look. Uh, no one is talking about perfection. Uh, it's about health. Being active reduces your chances of serious illness, including heart disease, diabetes, and even some types of cancer. So I hope you'll join me in walking 100 miles this summer. And I hope you'll make walking a regular part of your exercise routine after this campaign is over. We have a booth set up over here with information on the Walk 100 Miles, including info how to do a free mobile app that you can uh, track your time easily on. So if you haven't signed up already, make sure you swing by the booth here and get that done. I want to thank Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee, which is the presenting sponsor of the Walk 100 Miles campaign, for their tremendous support, which is helping make the program possible. I also want to thank the great organization, Hip Donaldson, for providing some wonderful volunteers to make this walk possible. Hip Donaldson is doing so many great things in your community. Uh, they immediately jumped on board the Walk 100 Miles campaign and will even be holding their own group walks this summer. So make sure you uh, get involved with those. The Stones River Greenway is a 10-mile paved trail system connecting Shelby Bottoms to Percy Priest Lake, linking to the YMCA on Lebanon Road, Heartland Park, and here at Two Rivers Park. 
Today we'll be walking 3.6 miles to the pedestrian bridge over the Cumberland that links to Shelby Bottoms and back. But first we're going to cut the ribbon on the, on the dog park. After we cut the ribbon, we'll start our walk by trying out the new paved trail inside the dog park. That, then we'll head out to the Greenway and you'll get a little extra mileage that way. Of, to of course, when we're in the dog park, dogs can be off their leashes if you choose, but you'll need to have them on the leash on the Greenway. You can also join us inside to see the park or wait here um, to head over to the Greenway. Remember, um, stay hydrated. Today is, uh, it's going to get warm out there, and we have water at the turning around point. Um, now I'd like to invite uh, Tommy and uh, members of the council and the park board to uh, help me cut this ribbon. So ready. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.